Okay, our first one is power plant operators, distributors, and dispatchers with a median income of $103,000 per year. These are the people that run systems that generate electricity and move it across the grid. They mostly monitor gauges and computers, they adjust controls to keep power flowing safely and reliably, and then they coordinate with the wider grid to handle demand changes or emergencies as well. You can get in by getting hired into a utility or plant trainee or assistant operator role. Now, most of these jobs require a high school diploma, and if you have you know, good strong math skills and science skills, that'll probably help. Then they'll put you through an extensive paid on the job training. Now, once you're in, you can advance by completing the plant's training and uh, earning different credentials that your track will require, like NERC system operator certifications for grid dispatch control room roles, or an NRC reactor operator license if you wanna go with nuclear power. Now the pro is it's a very skilled position, so you're gonna learn a lot and all that knowledge is gonna go with you no matter where you go. A lot of these shops are also union, so you get the benefits and the pension and all that stuff that comes with a union job. And also you could take these skills and you could apply them to different things. So different industrial applications will kind of be a nice sideways move if you decide that this isn't quite it for you. Now, there are always cons to everything, and I'd say for this one, there is industry consolidation going on. You're gonna have to work rotating shifts likely because electricity never sleeps, and that actually might work well for your lifestyle. Some people like second or third shift. And you gotta be sharp. You gotta know your procedures and alarms and really keep up with that stuff because your job is essential. 